struggles of the common man. He, like many of you, is fed up with the actions in Washington. That is why he is here today. He is here today to officially announce his campaign. He knows what the values of the 8th District are. He knows that it's not out of control spending, pork barrel spending, and sending our country into a national deficit that will take generations and generations to pay off. In 2008, Americans wanted and voted for change. Did they get that change? No. What they got was a government that spent even more money. What Washington needs is somebody from Main Street. Somebody who honestly knows how to balance a checkbook and do what's right with the American people's money. That is why I would like to introduce to you the next congressman of Indiana's 8th District, Dan Stockton. Good afternoon, everybody. I want to thank everybody for coming out here today. I must tell you, I can't think of a better place for my announcement. I grew up here. I attended Bainbridge Elementary. I went to Bainbridge High School basketball games with my father and graduated from North Putnam High School. As you know, our country is in great turmoil. Many of us have had enough of runaway government spending increased restrictions on our freedoms guaranteed by our Constitution, and a basic lack of common sense in Washington. I've decided that not only am I tired of what's going on in Washington, I'm going to do all I can to correct it. I've decided that I'm going to run for election to the House of Representatives representing Indiana's 8th District. This is a large district. It encompasses 18 counties, including Putnam. And I'm going to have to work hard to get elected in 2010. I'm going to have to gain support in the primary election next May. All of you that want to see your values taken to Washington by someone that was raised here and understands your concerns, help me get elected. Tell your friends, your family, your co-workers that I am like you. I've never been in politics. I've struggled to make ends meet. I know what it's like to watch the government ban freedom while handing checks to illegal immigrants. If America is to get back on its feet, Washington needs to know where we stand. If we're going to get off this road to socialism, we need people in Congress with the common sense to be more concerned about putting America to work than spending $2 million in Iowa to research what causes pig manure to smell. I'll tell you what's smelling right now, and they're shoveling it to us from Washington. Thank you, folks, and remember, Stockton for Congress.